Hey y'all, this is Dana from HG Adventuring. I am inside our soon-to-be expedition vehicle, our 2007 Mitsubishi Fuso 4x4. Uh, got a little project that I'm excited to share with y'all today. So for this project, we're going to figure out how to mount a couple of electronics inside the cab. Uh, we already have mounting for a number of different uh, things, but we don't have anywhere to hard mount our phone or a GoPro. Uh, so, you know, phone for navigation and then a GoPro to film ourselves or the road or, or whatever. Uh, we want them accessible relatively easily by both the driver and passenger. So we installed this relatively simple single DIN uh, unit that has uh, CarPlay on it. Um, but behind it, there are these four bolts that the previous owner probably had a radio or something like that mounted. Um, but for us, it seems like we would be able to use the same spot. And there's already a bunch of holes in this dash already. So I'm okay with putting some more holes in. So I think what I'm gonna do is remove these and then uh, we'll pull out this this unit again and we will mount some of these so these are ram mounts uh, they're really relatively simple i'll leave a link in the uh, description here but essentially i want two of them to get mounted right there and then one will hold a phone and then the other will hold a gopro something like that you know, and you can adjust them as you see fit. Uh, so hopefully this is a relatively easy, easy project. I start by removing the head unit from the dash. So funny enough, I'm actually already using some RAM mounts to film this, so you'll see. So I'm using a suction cup here, a RAM mounts, and then our DJI pocket uh, to film so that I can get that sweet angle, but uh, these round mounts are already coming in handy, so I'm pretty excited about this project. And then I use this nifty little trim tool to remove the trim around the radio. Yep, sounds like I broke something in there. There we go. There wasn't quite enough room to fit my fat fingers in there to get those bolts out, so I had to undo the climate control and radio unit to move it downwards for a little bit more room. While we're here, you may be asking what this is. This actually controls uh, this plug back here. It's just a standard plug. And then this is our Oxbeam light control unit. Uh, so right now all it does is controls the front lights, uh, but eventually we'll probably have a few more lights, uh, onboard air, things like that. So that's what this is for. Um, right now we also have a backup camera. It's wireless. Have that, and then we also have a tire pressure monitor, which is nice. Uh, so you know your tire pressures and temperatures. All right, so we've pulled out the head unit and stuff. Um, just downwards enough so that there's enough space that I can actually get my fingers in there and get a wrench in there. I measure the space and pick out where I want to mount these ball mounts. Then I mark the holes with a sharpie and get drilling. Using the hardware supplied with the ball mounts, I tighten these suckers in and they're not going anywhere. All right, so I've successfully installed these two ball mounts. You can see, pretty darn sturdy. So let's see what happens when we throw another mount on. Yeah. Ah. It's 
it's not the easiest to do one-handed. Sweet. Look at that. It's pretty sturdy. Go like that. Go like that. Like that. Twist it up back to us. Uh, something like that. Oh, but hey, now there's something out on the road. Let me just quickly adjust this. And now we're looking back out there. Cool. And what would a car project be without a test drive? Go ahead. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Jeez. That's not easy. Other than the filthy windshield, the footage that came out from our new GoPro mount is pretty darn smooth considering how bumpy the truck still is. Once we put our camper on the back of this and get it out on some real adventures, I'm sure we're going to use this mount all the time. So there you have it folks, if you enjoyed watching me install these mounts into our Mitsubishi Fuso and you want to follow along for the rest of our overland build journey, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, there's a lot more where that came from. Uh, we already have a couple cool videos out there including that one up there for, uh, for the wheels and the tires and suspension and winch and, uh, and that one up there for when we went and picked up the vehicle. So uh, make sure to check them out. Thanks.